Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's 10 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. All right, I want to talk about the story of Quan Bobby Charles, a 15-year-old black male teenager that disappeared on October 30th from Baldwin, Louisiana, and was found 20 miles later, I mean 20 miles away, three or four days later, uh, in Iberia Parish, Louisiana, uh, near a sugar cane field, face down in a creek. I want to talk about this story. Um, I, this story's been on my mind for the last, couple, the last three or four days, and before I, I put my two cents in, I really like to get a feel for the story. I, I don't want to just jump to conclusions or anything. And uh, what, what pushed me to, to do this video was actually seeing the sheriff of Iberia County talking this morning about this case and something you know you know how you guys get gut feelings and something in my gut just didn't feel right with this guy the, with the sheriff he, he kept he, he kept talking about how they have to wait for toxicology reports to come back now i didn't see any reason to suspect why uh there'd be need for uh if there was any uh, use of alcohol or substances or anything like that so i that that's that right there is what pushed me to make this video all right so Quan got in a car October 30th. Uh, the people he got in the car with, he did not have permission to go with them. Uh, that's another thing I was trying to understand the situation that happened there. Was the mother right there? As Was there an argument? Did uh, the boy just um, intentionally go against his mother's wishes? Was there more to the reason why the mother didn't give him permission to go? with this family. It was an, uh, he got in the car with a mother and a 17-year-old, um, just for the record, the, the mother and 17-year-old are white. Uh, Quan is a black boy, uh, black 15-year-old. Uh, I just say that because it's, it's part of the story. It's part of the facts. All right. Uh, by that night, I don't know, at, by 8 o'clock that night, the mother felt like something was wrong, which, which leads me to think that there was more to this story with the people that he got in the car with, that she was calling the police by 8 o'clock that night. Now, here's what really bothers me, the way the police have responded to it and are going to respond to it, um, or, or are have responded to it right now. When they when she called the police on October 30th, the police kind of just shrugged it off, apparently, and just said, well, maybe the football game they went to, maybe they were at a football game and it ran late. Don't worry about it. Here's the thing that really bothers me is there was never any Amber Alert um, sent off. Uh, uh, never any Amber Alert um, put into effect. Why not? Uh, I think when I, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I'm pretty sure if it, you know anybody under 18, when a child goes missing, you, you, that's what this is for. I, I don't understand why there was never any Amber Alert issued. Um, it, it, you know, the bottom line here, it just it really appears that it was a, a black a black 15 year old boy that just disappeared and. My, you know, my, my honest opinion here is if this was a, a white 15-year-old girl, and especially, say, a white 15-year-old girl from uh, Lichfield County, a wealthy county from around here, man, there would have been Amber Alerts. There would have been people looking out for those cars and people and roadblocks. But this, you know, a 15-year-old black boy disappears, and eh, we'll, see what, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it plays out. I mean, that, I don't have kids, but that bothers me, man. Um, I... Like I, I've told you guys before, I always, I, I got a strong feeling of empathy and I can't imagine what the parents feel like when they, 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 they know there's something wrong, that their, their child is missing, something is out of, out of the usual situation. And to get this kind of response from police where they don't, they don't seem to care, it's, it's got to be terrifying. Uh, so, okay, so we talk about defunding the police and you know to be honest like I, I i talk about this i mean you can't just disband and, and defund the police because this is a situation where you need law enforcement you know but something i think that does need to be changed in the future is say take for instance with these amber alerts why wasn't an amber alert put in effect 
possibly this boy. So it turned. It turns out he was found face down in a sugarcane field, uh, in a creek near a sugarcane field. On November second, he was found. Three days later, his mother wasn't notified. His father wasn't notified till November third. His father, his mother wasn't notified till November fourth. I don't know why this is. Um, now the autopsy. The autopsy says something is suspicious. It was a suspicious death. Now, there's pictures circulating all over the internet. I'm not going to put them on here. Um, supposedly, he had a knot, he had a gash, and uh, a good portion of his his lips were missing. Uh, his severely uh, not a not a good situation. Now. This is why I waited to make this video because I wasn't sure if that might have been due to something that happened after he died due to wild animals or something. I, I don't even like talking about this, but it, I, I don't know. But it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like this was part of uh, the damage that happened before or during his death. That it wasn't just a soft tissue being affected. Um, and it doesn't say that. The autopsy just... The, the parents are, are raising money on GoFundMe because they want a, uh, another autopsy done. Because it, all it says is it's suspicious. Now, if I, you know, if I had kids and this happened, I, I, I don't know. I, I would be going back and forth from terrified to outraged. Um, especially now for the autopsy to say, just, just say suspicious. You know, you know this, this, this boy disappeared was gone, disappeared for three days, was found 20 miles from his home. He left with people that his parents didn't approve of, was found face down in a creek 20 miles from home near a sugarcane field uh, with parts of his face missing. And it's a suspicious death. I, 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 I'm, not, oh, I'm not that well versed on police procedures, but I, I would be calling that a, a murder, a homicide. Not suspicious. Um, again, I you know I'm not a cop, but um, I just feel for the parents. I, I can't imagine what that that's like. Uh, I think it's my the bottom line here is I still think there's there's situations now there's there's police departments departments that something like this would never happen, but obviously there are still police departments where people are treated differently. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is people's lives aren't worth as much due, due to the color of their skin. That's the bottom line. Um, and that there needs to be, if, if we're going to have these you know, police departments, we need them to follow the same procedure, regardless of your skin color, your you know, your religious background, who you love, who you worship, whatever. I, like I said, I can't imagine the horror if when this happens to somebody's parents, when, when it, it seems like the police don't care or care or care less than if it was a, a, a kid of another race. Um, it's not right. And it, it's, it's a horrific situation. For a parent to be put in. And now, after this has all happened, they're left not knowing what happened to their their son. You know, other than it was suspicious. It's not right. You know, this, this isn't right. And when we talk about um, reorganizing the police department, this is something that would be at the top of my list. When children go missing... It should be an across the board. You, you, you react the same way no matter if it was a, a, a little blonde five-year-old girl or a 16-year-old black boy. Wherever they're from, whatever color they're from, there should be the same procedure when it comes to Amber Alerts. Um, all right. Well, I, I hope I got most of the... Uh, you guys understood this and I got most of the facts right. I'm going to be watching this story closely. Uh, I, I'd like to see if they get suspects um, and how this, this story moves forward. All right, you guys have a good Friday.